Oxford Nolan, my name is Bucky, this is my cousin Shua, Hi. and we're here on Tampa Sessions, this is amazing. I've seen a couple of videos from this place and I'm extremely excited to actually be here, this is, this is awesome. Yes, it really is, we're super excited to be here. Yeah, man. So we actually uh, just released an EP Saturday, it's Friday, well, I don't know my days, Friday, yeah, Friday, and um, thanks mom. Those two songs are actually on the EP. Those are the first two songs on the EP. I think a lot of what we're going to play tonight is off of that EP. And uh, we'll do a couple more newer songs and maybe some old songs, depending on the vibe, but we're just going to wing it. So yeah. this next song. It's been two EPs. 
is called. We all we always have been a two piece. Yes, uh, Jared Hogg. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have been a two piece. Oh yeah, we got this right here. This yeah. is amazing. This We've is never great. really done this before, so we're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is yeah. live too. This is like the most high tech live performance we've ever done. Hey, Angela, and thank you, Dylan. Awesome. Um, this next uh, song is called Stones and Feathers. It's also off the new EP, and uh, here it is. said you were listening from Ireland it messed me up so <laughs> yeah this is distracting we're like I'm like re we're like reading the people talking about we're playing and I'm like oh man I got I gotta look over here yeah I'm trying to remember everybody's name or everybody's names I'm sorry if I don't but thank you everybody for watching we really appreciate it if you guys have any questions for us we're happy to answer any questions um, as long as they're not you know too personal but... yeah because our, our moms are probably watching yeah my mom is yeah I think yeah, my I mom probably saw. is too so keep it keep it clean Yes. Or yes. Clean. I don't. I don't even know where yeah. to look. Is it one of these? Yeah. There's. There's. There's a lot of cameras. All right. So, so what are we gonna play next, Bucky? Uh, let's do another song off the EP. Okay. Let's gonna do, do uh, Save Arlene. Let's do Save Arlene. Yeah. Oh. All right. Hold on. Let me. Let me get all this ready. And actually, 
Um, I don't have a capo, so let's not do Save Our Lane just yet. Where's your capo? My capo is in my blue briefcase. That's on my. Uh, can you do? Can where is it? It's on the uh, the rock and roller. Right, All right there, cool. The small one. Let's do. Um... Or no, 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 no. I'm sorry. My capo's right here. <laughs> I'm so stupid. You can come sit down. I found my Dude, capo. That is, <laughs> that is so you, man. Dude, you're always looking out for yourself, and then you just don't yeah, trust yourself. I don't ever trust myself. Yeah. No. Oh, there we go. All right, this song is called Save Our Lean. It's off our brand new EP. Mm-hmm. It's going to be uh, out, you know, last Friday. How about that? Yeah. It's on all the streaming services and everything. It's, it's out there. called One Take. Yes, One Take. It was actually done um, at my house. We uh, made a couple videos, and we decided to make it an EP. And it's all live completely. Josh came up with the name One Take. We figured it just, like, encompasses exactly what we did um, very well. So we, we found one. I found one. Yeah, yeah, I found one. Yeah. He always looks out for himself and yeah. then forgets. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Joe. Give it up for Joe, man. Yeah, he's over, he's, he's the Joe. guy behind the scenes here making this all happen. Yes. I still don't know what camera to look at. Any of them. I don't know. Any of them. Is that pointing at me? That's not pointing at me, is it? There's also three, 360. Whoever, say what's up to the 360 fam. I don't know who's all in there. But what's up, guys? I'm sure you can see the, the whole operation here. Oh, yeah, the supporters. Yeah, this uh, is the 360 camera right here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, if you guys want to um, see behind the scenes and everything that they're doing here, it's super cool. Go and become a supporter of Tampa Sessions. Super easy. Help a local person out. Um, it'd be great. And then yeah. you can see everything that's happening, you know, from behind the scenes. I mean, there's not many people doing what these guys are doing here. It's, it's quite amazing. And I'm just, like, kind of still in awe. It's kind of, again, it's distracting. I'm like... I'm like excited. I don't know how to handle my excitement. Yeah. All right, hold on. <sighs> All right. I gotta handle my excitement by wiping my hands off. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna play some music. That's a good way to exert energy, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna do a song called Save Our Lean. It's basically um, about saving our lean. So.
Thank you so much, Jonathan. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and yes, you. Dylan, or whoever. Two snares, yes, yes Dylan. Two snares. two snares. One's like super kind of like typical. And then the other is like real fat. And then if I turn it off, it's a tom. It's a tom, man. And I got so much stuff already, I have to like condense as much as possible because I'm already driving myself crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, there's been like three or four times I've already just asked myself why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm just like, oh, God. More than that, you asked yourself that before we started like three or four times. I think it's a problem. No. I should add more. Yeah, yeah. I should add more. You should add yeah. more for sure. <laughs> I should too. Thanks, uh, thanks, John. We appreciate it. Uh, Miss Becky Buckingham says, turn up the keys. Oh, dang, Mom. That's my mom, everybody. If Becky says it, it's, it's got to be done. It's just <laughs> one of those rules. Actually, you know, I'm going to turn on my bright switch. That might help. Boom. You want to do that song again with the keys turned up for my mom? I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> so, again, if you guys have any questions for us, um, anything. Let Thanks, me turn, John. Let me, let me turn my reverb off. If you guys have any questions for us or anything, we're happy to answer them. If you want to know who we are, why we do this, um, where we come from, anything, we'd love to tell you. Um, I will give you one background story. Okay. Well, not background story, background sentence. We are cousins. <laughs> so. That goes way back. Yeah. Ever since he is born. <laughs> that's, a, that's a life thing. It's a lifelong thing. Yeah. It's a life thing and a lifelong thing. Well, yeah, yeah, both. Both, I what suppose. Are, what are we doing next? You want to do rest? Yeah. Uh, we could do rest. This song is old. This song is really old. Actually, oh, Sam, what's our, what's our favorite color? What's your favorite color? Um, I guess I'll start with me. My favorite color varies, but always ends up landing back on green. I was just about to say olive green. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, olive green is like my yeah. jam. You know? Yeah, hence his shirt. The shirt's yep. pretty olive. It's a little darker than olive, I think. It's the only shirt I wear. <laughs> and he washes it, everybody. I, sometimes. Any inspiration for the new album? Man, our, so our EP, honestly, it was kind of an afterthought. Um, I do sessions out of my ha- out of my house for uh, for bands. I've done a, f- a few of them, and then I, we decided to do one for us to get a couple videos out just to say, "Hey, we're here." And um, we we recorded a couple, and I ended up booking a show for Josh's birthday, which was just uh, last Thursday. And our EP Friday, release show. Friday, Friday. Well, your your birthday was Thursday. Oh, my birthday was Thursday. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we I booked the closest Friday I could. Um, Angela, hold on, I'll, I'll answer this tune or this this question the second tune was a sad revelation it's actually on the new ep it's uh yeah i don't know i don't know where to look this is crazy um anyway the um the ep was kind of an afterthought and i booked his birthday show and then uh a buddy of ours chuck who's like managing us and helping us out and really doing a lot of work for us uh suggested that we make it an ep and uh, i was like well dude this is like two months away and I was, he's like, so? I was yeah. like, oh, OK, all right, cool. Well, we got to finish recording this thing and get this thing going. So we ended up uh, finishing recording, recorded another three songs. And the inspiration for that, really, I guess, with that backstory was just to get music out. You know, mm-hmm. just, it was just to get music out. And uh, our next EPs are going to be much more, I think, thought out. These are old songs we're trying to get recorded that we haven't recorded. I mean, we've been playing together for how long? Uh, we started as Bootleggers and Baptists probably about eight years ago um, as a folk trio with a stand-up bassist. Um, and then Aaron found the micro Korg, or well, our buddy Paul Safar gave us a micro Korg, and Aaron was like, "Well, oh, why not?" You know, so. And it was a joke at first, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, this is I can maybe do this." And yeah. Then, and we uh, and actually then I, then I went crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, the first Still song that we played was uh, Coyotes. Um, that's on the new EP. Um, that's the first song that we wrote. Oh, Tylen. Oh, thank hey, you, Tylen. Oh, hey, Man, she's been there from the beginning. I yeah, mean, I remember. Has. Oh my gosh, dude! I remember singing, "Holy." Maybe we should play "Holy Heresies," dude. Well, I just did. Oh, you did? Well, well, we, we can tune. I already moved the case. I don't know if Tylen remembers this. Um, we were all hanging out at uh, USF, and we sang this song somewhere in USF. At the dorm. At the room. dorm, yeah. This song has been dang. This song was like bootleggers and Baptists old. I'm dang. I'm excited. Let's do that song. Okay, let's do it. Cool. You. uh... So this song is um, uh, about, <clears throat> and I put this politely, um, I went to Christian school and it was awesome, you know, I put myself there, my parents are 
awesome parents and they um, paid the money for me to go but I met a lot of hypocrites there and I wrote a song a lot later obviously because um, you know, I didn't start doing this till I was 22 but I wrote a song kind of about that and, um, and here it is Holy Heresies Thanks, Charlie. We really appreciate it. And we oh, love man. you, of course. But keep yourself away from my keys. <laughs> I'm going to give a backstory real quick. So Charlie's following us, right? I was living in Tampa, and uh, him and Jerry X had a show, and they came over to the house, right? And uh, they, Charlie left abruptly and like woke up off the couch, left, and just grabbed like the nearest keys next to him and flew to Ohio. And those were my keys. So I didn't have keys for a, a couple of days. <laughs> So, and that's a kind of a running joke. Did he, did he ship him back? I don't, I don't think no, I No, he threw him in the bushes when he got back into town. Oh, my God. Yeah. I love Charlie. Very though. Charlie of you, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, very Charlie. <laughs> you want to do rest this time? Oh, uh, yeah, I can record. All right, what do you want to do? What do you have in mind? Um, we could do Master. Ooh. So we just did a religious song. We do one more. Or a religiously based song. This song, this song was actually derivative of a... Him. It's a it's the lyrics of a hymn, ba ba roughly. I think they're pretty close. Um, and Josh wrote some music to it, and I thought it was cool. I thought this was cool. I yeah, I found it. a um, 
Oh no, Charlie, I had to get to the airport. I know you did, dude. It's all good, you know, we don't judge. Um, yeah, but I wrote this, uh, this song. I was looking, flipping through a hymnal and I was like, oh my God, that's really dark. Cool, <laughs> let's write a song. <laughs> oh. And actually our friend Emily uh, posted, I didn't realize it was in the gospel, it's in, it's in Mark. So that was pretty cool. Joe's in the other room. We can hear him screaming, and yeah, that's awesome. Uh, hi. Um, honestly, I don't want to butcher this, but you're a milestone follower, and your name is Spendow. Spandow. Spendow. Spendow. Hi. 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm saying hi to the screen again. I don't know where to look. What is up with me? I, I feel weird looking at the camera. I don't know what to do when I see the camera. I like. I just don't know what to do. I usually have to space rest out because it's, uh, or from master, the tempest is raging because it's belty. 
Uh, don't wreck my voice, but we're gonna do it anyway. You gotta learn how to sing, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so this this song is called Rest. The last couple songs we've played were out on our first full length record that we put out, and it was called We're Silhouettes, and we put that out in 2015, I think, yep. and. Um, we, uh, we've spent a lot of time playing music together, but it was very sparsed out, you know. I've spent, I toured in a few, in a sparsed, spaced, sp I don't know how to speak. It's all Wally Cockett. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was actually touring for three years in a band called The Groove Orient, and that took a lot of time away from this project, and a lot of other things did, and we just played our last show at OBJ this, this year, and uh, when that happened, it really opened up an opportunity to spend a lot of time on this band, and I mean... You can't, I don't think I've ever been happier playing music. You know, I get to play music with my family. This is like my brother. I don't have a brother. You have a, yeah, you don't boy, have, you don't don't have, have a brother, brother either. Yeah, we're cousins. Sis. We're first cousins and basically like the closest thing to brothers that either one of us have. So to be able to make music with you, dude, and make and share just even a glimmer of like the feeling of music that we can try to muster up is yeah. just amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah, dude. So that record came out then and this is now and this is going to be rest. Uh, really, really cool. Oh, I start this song. Well, funny story. Um, so whenever we did this um, full-length album way back in the day, um, I, was, I was spraying lawns for this company, and I was actually with my best friend in the truck, um, Chris Costella. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. Let me get to this story. We'll put you right back in the feels. Um, <clears throat> so Chris Costella was like, yo, you should send your music to Bubba. The, the radio station guy and I was like yo that's a good idea and I was like we're gonna I was so proud I was like we're gonna just like yes let's do this you're gonna love it right and the song's called rest and he starts listening to it and he pauses it in the intro and he's like it's called rest it sounds like what they're doing right now and I was like ah so we cut the intro shorter now <laughs> <laughs> it was the beginning of the record, so yeah, we wanted to have a nice intro to the record, so.
his rest. What do you want to do next? You want to do seven? Let's do, um, let's do beggars in the shade and then seven and then city birds. I like it. I like it. Oh, wait, I'm doing it with a game card. <laughs> so, um, oh, thank you so much, Tyler. That's a playing city homie right there. Um, I wrote this song after I get some water I'm going to tell you why I wrote this song um, so I wrote this song to try to get into a Coen Brothers film and then I was like this song is like would be cool to play in front of the next song which is Shades um, so this it's gonna be beggars, like an like a, a duet, I guess. What would you call it? I mean, everything we do is a duet, Josh. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought yeah. that was funny. So we're gonna do that, and then when we go into the next song, it's gonna be called Shades. Yeah, so it's kind of like a part one, part two yeah. type song. Yeah, yeah. strawberries in Plant City for sure, Angela, definitely. Oh, strawberries! I'm hungry. Me too. I forgot to eat before I came here. <laughs> I do that way too much.
All right, what's next? Seven? Seven. All Seven. right. Dominic, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen you, buddy. And hey, Pamelarian, Pamelarian, it's nice to see you too. Me and Dom go way back. We went to USF together. <clears throat> the last song was um, rest. Rest. No, we, the last no. song we just was. Oh, shades. Shades. Sorry. My life is concussed. You know. <laughs> There's a lot of skateboarding. So a lot of our life we've spent in together. Um, outside of music. I mean, skateboarding was definitely one of the first things that we did together, and I spent a lot of our youth doing that. And then after that, somewhere in the middle, we kind of quit skateboarding for golf. That was, was, that was fun. fun. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. And, like, in middle school, like, that was, like... Yo, let me tell a funny story real quick. Totally. Okay. So I was barely... I, I probably shouldn't... Have, I, was, I don't even think I was allowed to drive the golf cart, right? But, um... So, Aaron... We had to walk the um, the course before we could drive the golf cart, right? And everybody knows Florida heat is terrible. So um, Aaron and we're like walking to this green, right? And Aaron gets like heat exhaustion and like throws up. And I run to the clubhouse, steal a golf cart, um, like donut over a green, you know, which is a big no-no on a golf course. But like tread through a green. I'm like, get in the car. <laughs> we're going to the AC. <laughs> I have a shorter, funnier story about a cart. Um, so I don't know if you remember this. We were playing the Plant City Golf Course, Angela. I see you. Um, and I had the cart. We were we were old enough at this point to drive it. And I remember I was just we're still stupid and you know and driving it like crazy. And I remember Josh was never stopped. Yeah, Josh was out of the cart, and I I just whipped around in a circle really fast and I hit him hard with the cart. I remember like the shoulder. That was my first concussion. No, I hit you in the shoulder. <laughs> it was like you know like the part of the cart that has like the rail to the roof. Oh yeah. And then it was just like right in your I think it was this, it was your right shoulder, so it was the passenger side. I and you were pissed. Yeah. I did that. I can't I forget was like that. My golf game. Dude, and it was storming like crazy. I, that's why we were whipping around. Yeah, because we are trying to get out of there, and I was freaking out. I used to be, like, phobic of thunder and lightning. Like, it was, it was, it was bad. So, anyway, we, dig we digress and yeah, we digress. Move, move into Seven. This All song the way is to the bottom seven. of the hill.
notice trends They're all what they long Well I have heard Just what it is They want it It just won't work Are you going That song is interesting because we really never know how it's gonna end. I think, <laughs> but when, when when it starts to go into like just the keyboard guitar breakdown, that was uh, that's when we just we have no idea. There's no idea how that's gonna go, and also, I love it. I kind of we kind of leave it open because sometimes it can go over there, and then we're just like sometimes it's like, come back. Sometimes you know? it can go over there though. Yeah, well, it's, it, can it really can just go over there. It has gone over there. It has. Yeah, yeah it definitely has. It's a pretty tight scenario when it does. Yeah, well, this is a small room too, so so we gotta keep it it's close only to the two. <laughs> I mean, it's like right there. What is that like? Six feet? And that, I mean, for me, oh, yeah, no, four feet. Oh, four feet. Four feet. My depth perception's bad. Yeah. So what's next? Um, well, first I would like to say thank you to John. Um, thank you for uh, listening and supporting Tampa Sessions. Again, I want to mention if you guys want to see the behind the scenes stuff. Um, all the stuff that goes into this, which is super cool and interesting. Um, it's the become coolest. a supporter. I actually saw he was going to send out 
um, a package, like a care package. Oh, I did. It was like too. a T-shirt and a sticker and a koozie to anybody that supported him. So if you want a Tampa Sessions T-shirt, support this guy. And it's even a- if you don't want a T-shirt, support the guy because he's bringing in all these people from around the area that need a platform to be able to share their stuff and to get an audience worldwide. You know? I mean, we've seen people from high from. Hi from uh, Ireland. Yeah, it messed me up. I yeah, like, yeah, that was the one. Whoa, I was like, dude. oh, whoa, we got, whoa. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get serious. No, let's get a little no. more comfy in here, though. Yeah. But anyway, if anybody doesn't want that shirt, by the way, I will take the shirt. Yeah, yeah, I you can still support shirt. him. Bucky will take the shirts. Um, his address <laughs> will follow um, after the show if you want to support the guy. But definitely give him a support. If not, give him a like. You know, give him a follow. Give him something that will help him continue to do what he does because it's something that's so special to the music scene that. We don't get very often. Um, there's only, I mean, a few people doing something like this. I if not I the know. only guy doing this. I mean, you know? I'm not sure of anybody doing it like this. Yeah, not like this. This is, this is super really special. special. Yeah. Super special. Jinx. You owe me a beer. No. <laughs> no. You're not. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't drink Coke. <laughs> oh, man. What are we doing? Uh, spitting verbs. All right, this is, a, this is actually the last tune on our EP that we just released. And the last thing we're doing tonight, and um, here it is. Here we go. This is actually a song that, so before we, like, officially were in a band, um, I used, Aaron or Bucky sleeps late, very late, and I would I'm come to his too. house and knock on his door and turn my amp up real loud and just be like, and just, like, try and wake him up, you know what I mean? And uh, whenever we were doing that, this is actually the first song that we wrote as a, I guess, a group, or I wouldn't call us a couple because we're family, and that's not, you know. Well, there's a couple of us. A couple of us, yeah, that's true. That was stupid. How you wanna be? I can't see that you wanna. Come 
Thank you guys. You want to take like a two minutes, see if anybody wants to answer some or ask us some questions. They can send answers to the questions to me. Oh, uh, he's got oh. a request. Oh. Okay, we can do the first one again. What was the first one? Coyotes. Oh, yeah, coyotes. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. Thank you, Tylen. I see JT. JT's in the house. Hey, JT. JT is another uh, songwriter from um, from St. Pete who's killing it. He has a uh, a really special sound. Not to mention other people, but if you want to go check JT Brown out, he's on Facebook and I'm sure every other platform that there is. First song off of our uh, our EP that we just released. I'm um, called One Take. First song we play tonight, but Joe has a special request, so we're gonna finish or excuse me, we're gonna start the night with it, and we're gonna end the night with it.
Thank you for tuning in to Tampa Sessions. We're Oxford Nolan, I'm Shua, this is Bucky. Again, if you like what you saw, if you want to see backstage stuff, go become a supporter. If you don't want to become a supporter, things tied, we understand. Become a follower, you know, follow also, us. We got, a, we got a few questions too we can answer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, who wrote the name out? Looks like Music Notes. Oh, man. I did. That's that's his handwriting. Yeah. Uh, Tylen also had a question that I remember, but it, it just passed. She asked if you still played Upside Down. I do. I can't quit. It's too late. But uh, but what he has going on here is an actual left-handed guitar. But we flipped. Not we. I mean, I didn't really have anything to do with it, I guess. But it was flipped, so the strings are still strung like a right-handed guitar. But then now he has access to all of the knobs, and they're not in the way, and he can use a guitar like an actual guitar. Yeah. He used to take off all the knobs and everything so that he wouldn't turn them down, you know, mm -hmm. while he's playing. I mean, so many times he'd be like, yeah. like a super heavy part, and she's like, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. You know? Now so, I'm rolling the tone on the pedals, so I need yeah. to figure that one out, too. <laughs> Rip the knobs off that, maybe. It's all, always, it's always something. Yeah. It's always something. Um, so. Nook, the, the, the name was actually Josh's original, like, art. Um, Pseudonym. Pseudonym, yeah. yeah. And uh, we had when we were called Bootleggers of Baptist, we just it's it's a long name. We had a lot of questions, of, like who is the bootlegger, who's the Baptist, and like, and, now, and honestly, after a while, we just it just kind of like that was like the folk band, and yeah. so now we when we moved into something new, I thought Oxford Nolan was such a cool name, and if you want to get like how I think about it, there's six letters in each name. It's even, you know, cool, yeah. yeah. Cool. It, 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 they both end with D. Cool, yeah. You know, a lot of people forget the D though. Yeah. So if you're gonna post something on Facebook about us, make sure you put the D on the end of Nolan. All no right? land, Just please. Yeah. Like how many? How many times? Have no, you no, ever no. Had... Wait, go how many it. millennials own land? No, no land. You know, that's, that's no, still no, no, wasn't... no, that's not right. <laughs> Almost. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> how much land do millennials own? No land. Yeah, no land. I like that. Know? That should be a tagline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I love it. Okay. I love it, dude. I like it. Holy moly. Dude. Yeah. We got like a really cool crew that's like super yeah, smart. Yeah, amazing. And they're and then, interpreting what we're saying and that's turning it in, into more smarter things than we would have thought of man, we're that we're going to go with later. I man. See, I, was want, I just want to tell you one thing. I'm just from Plant City, you know, and I think, I think education is important. You know, but I just think music is important to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's much more just, important. Just want to let you guys know. Hey, that. man, eighth grade was good enough, man. All right, man, I'm just trying to get through. Just not to... great, man. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Them books are expensive. Well, what's up, Joe? <laughs> um, all right, our next show is actually going to be in Orlando next um, next month, September 16th, at uh, a place called Sound Bar. Um, that's our next show. Our where we can get your e REP is on Bandcamp. It's, uh, I think, on Bandcamp, it's $4 for the download, but you can pay what you want. So any support 
that you can uh, that you can give us is wonderful. Four dollars is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And um, also, it's streamable on Spotify, iTunes. Uh, well, not streamable on iTunes, but you know, Apple Music Apple and Music, yeah. all that stuff. And then and our shows. I mean, we have EPs, so and we have hard copies and shirts and everything. So yeah, I was gonna say. So soon we're gonna have our Bandcamp like merch uh, site set up. So if you wanna buy a shirt. Or a sticker or like a hard copy CD yeah, for those that online. still drive like 2007 or past, you know, like me. Um, <laughs> Just that... buy, you're buying a coaster with a CD in it. It's... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I see these memes where it's like, um, where it's like, remember the old days where like the dude has a big CD book? And I'm like, don't make the old days, dude. Man, like, I had still a CD. going through this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a CD book. I was touring with a groove where we had a big CD book because all we had as a CD player. It was awesome. So we're like, hey, man, can you get the Willie Nelson record out? And we're like, yeah. I don't want to get into it. I, I would. She can't would. be so proud. Oh, wow. Man. Somebody has one more question? Yeah, what's no. the question? It better not be to play us another song, because we're <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> cool. Is there any more questions you said? Any last words? Uh, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. you know, thank you for thank checking you. us out. I mean, any come, come say hey. If you guys saw us here, come say hey at the next live show. Yeah. We're going to be playing, uh, like I said, Orlando. And then anybody in Gainesville. I think Angela's in Gainesville, right? Yeah, Angela's in Gainesville for sure. So we'll be playing in Gainesville September 20th. Mm-hmm. can't remember what day of the week it is. I, I think it's the 20th, right? And then Jacksonville people. We're playing Jacksonville. October 11th? Yes. I am, I am really... You're going to check the calendar? Yeah, bringing it out. All right. Somewhere in October we play Jacksonville. Follow Oxford Nolan on Facebook if you haven't October already. October 11th. I was right. Instagram too, yeah, Oxford yeah. Nolan. Twitter. Our Twitter is just now getting going. So Actually, I got to talk to you about that because I'll talk to you about that later. Why not now? Came out Nolan to Oxford, man. No, it's, no, it doesn't. You're yeah. looking at the wrong one. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I got an email. It's like Nolan to Oxford. I was like, what's that? There's some glitches. <laughs> There's some glitches. Um, all right, cool. Well, uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, everybody yes. in here. Thank you, Nook. Thank you. I wish I remember. I suck at names. I'm so bad. I hope I, I did. Actually, what's your name? Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy John. You came in late. I didn't even get a chance to, to, to meet you. Dude, nice to see you, brother. Awesome. What's your name again? Johnny. Johnny. Oh, John, Jesus, yeah. man. I am terrible. Oh, we got Johnny. So he does Songcatcher for, out of Miami? No, out of West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Thanks, Palm. Oh, so he's traveling. So we got some Songcatchers. That's amazing. Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk. Let's talk, John. The ever no man. All right, guys. All right. Thanks again. We are out. Thank you for thank you for watching. All right. See ya. See you later.